Hello Stampers, I am Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am so excited to be stamping with you tonight. First of all, I have a fantastic fun fold. You guys have been asking for this for a long time, so I'm really excited. I figured it out. I'm bringing it to you. You're going to have a couple different ideas that I, different color schemes that I made, plus I'm going to show you the original card. It is a tri-fold pop-up card, and it is so much fun. I just know you're going to love it. Hi, Priscilla. Hi, Cynthia. I see you guys all coming in here. Margine is here. Welcome, Sonia. So, we had Little Miss Val's second birthday party today. If you guys didn't check out the pictures on my um, Facebook page, when we're done stamping tonight, refresh your screen and go look at them. They are stinking adorable. She is just so cute. We had a too wild theme. That was so much fun. Um, <clears throat> Lori and Lori is um, Jared's mom, so Val's other grandma, and myself, and then Allie, who is Jared's sister, we made all the food. And it was so much fun. I love making party food. I love it. I hate cooking, but I love making party food. And we had zebra striped pretzels and cheetah striped pretzels and tiger striped pretzels. We had a um, like a lion face cheese tray. We had a vegetable tray that looked like a snake. We had a um, snake grape, uh, grapes on shish kebabs with strawberry heads and eyeballs and a frog watermelon with fruit in it. And then Lori made an alligator sub sandwich and put it all over the whole counter. And it had little snails all over that were those pickles with the cream cheese wrapped in um, ham, I think. Oh, I love those things. Anyways, I am stuffed to the gills. I had more sugar in the last couple days than anybody should have in a month. <laughs> but it was so much fun. And since the theme was too wild, it was really cute. Because the minute I got, we went, we had it at um, Jared's parents' house. And the minute we got over there, I noticed that Lori was wearing a cheetah print shirt. Well, I had to buy myself a little cheetah print shirt. And I couldn't stop there. Look at the shoes. Oh, my gosh. They are so cute. And I love them. And the cutest thing was... Stephanie, my stepdaughter Stephanie came and she also had cheetah shoes on and she bought Val a pair. So if I remember when we're done tonight, I will share a picture of Stephanie with Val because what Haley does, and she's just, she thinks of all the things, it's crazy. But what she does is she, um, each time Val is opening a present, she has the whoever gave her the present go up and be with her so that while the pictures are happening, each person is in the pictures with her, which I think is fantastic. And then she had the book, um, Where the Wild Things Are. I think that's what it's called. You guys know the, the book. And um, she uh, asked everybody to just write a note in the book to Val for her second birthday. So now Val will have this keepsake that is um, signed by everybody that came to the party with like a little saying in it. So oh, it was so cool. So what did I get Val for her birthday? I got her a couple summer outfits because um, Jared and Haley said that she really just needs clothes. She really didn't need toys. So I got her a couple summer outfits. I got her the cutest little pair of boots. Adorable. And Jared said, Kelly, I think if those were in your size, you would wear them. I totally would. I got her a little pair of boots. Um, what else did I get her? Um, oh, I got her a Pez dispenser because we have a thing with those. She loves them. And I got her this little thing with candy on the end and you push the button and it has a little fan in it and it like um, blows at you. She thought that was pretty funny. I got her this little pig. <laughs> it's the cutest thing. It's on a leash and you push the button and it walks along and... <laughs> And it does that and it walks along and makes noises and it's so cute. She thought it was adorable. And then I got her a photo book. And what I did is I went to snapfish.com and um, I uploaded a ton of pictures from zero to one years old. 
and then I gave it to her for her two-year-old birthday. But you just upload the pictures and you push book and it puts them all in the places and they're fun pictures and almost all the pictures are just me and her because you guys know I kind of take a lot of selfies, right? <laughs> And so I love Snapchat filters that give you the bows in your hair, the Mickey ears, or, you know, the nose, little nose thing, or the little hearts or whatever. I love all the Snapchat filters. So I have a ton of pictures of Val and I in the Snapchat filters. So not all the pictures were Snapchat filters, but I took a lot of them and put them in there because I just think they're really fun. So that was my gift to her. And I think I'm going to make that a tradition where I give her one of these little photo books Every year, it's a hard-covered book. I just order it from the place, and I'll just do a photo dump off of my phone so that she has all of these. And then I wrote a little thing in the back about how she's she's so much fun, and, and I love her, and, you know, all the things. But I just thought that would be a really neat keepsake. And it's a way to preserve those pictures because, you know, my phone's going to get filled up. I'm going to have to start dumping stuff but we'll still have them, right? Nobody seems to print pictures anymore. Oh, and then I wish I had the, I didn't even take a picture of the birthday card I made her, but I used the bubble gum set and I made it into, if you guys ordered my um, gumball greetings kit class, I still have a few left if anybody wants to order one. You need the bundle, of course, and then all the other things kind of come with it with the kit, but um, I made her a card using this stamp set because she she's in love with Bluey. That's some like teddy bear looking dog thing. <laughs> and then she loves Mickey Mouse. So I put Mickey Mouse ears on the bubblegum machine and oh, so cute. And then I included a really nice picture of her and I, just a snapshot. I got it printed at Walgreens and a picture of her and Steve's, a couple of my favorite pictures. And I just put them in there and she can do whatever she wants with them. She can crumple them up. She can kiss them. She can eat with them. She can sleep with them, whatever. But I just thought that was kind of a neat little keepsake. So we had Val's birthday party today. My mother is here. And um, so I need to get started soon because I don't want to take too much time away from her tonight. But like I said, we have a fantastic project to do. My John report, I don't have much to, to report on John. He's been really boring lately, I must say. I don't know if I need to, you know, like send him a little note or something like he needs to be more interesting. But <laughs> I see that he had the grandkids over yesterday. We had a beautiful, beautiful weather day here in Menasha, Wisconsin. It was like 70 something. Um, I ran Steve down to near Milwaukee because he got a new Harley. I don't know if I told you guys that, but he, he got a new Harley. It was kind of funny because I said, what do you need another Harley for? Like, and he said, life is short. Who can argue with that? So I said, okay, whatever. Not that it mattered. I don't approve whatever he's, you know, his thing is that he's into. Um, last weekend was Easter weekend. I spent that at my mom's house. It was also her birthday. So that was really fun. And that's why I wasn't on last Sunday because I did not want to have to rush to come home. And it was really nice. I just hung around her house till about three, moseyed on home. I did come up in my office and work, but it was really nice not having to rush. I stopped down. You guys know that I bought some property last year, right? It's like, um, I don't even know. I, you know, I don't know the details of things. I don't know if it's a couple acres, three acres. I'm not even sure. But um, it's got a garage and an outhouse and a shed. And then we put the new summer home on it. And so I stopped down there to look into getting a well. So, um, and I told, uh, I was on Stamp Happy Live the other night and I was talking about this. So we did witching. Have you guys ever heard of water witching? So I looked it up on Google to see what they had to say about it. I've been aware of water witching for my whole life because my, my mom grew up on a farm and they had to witch for water. And if you look up water witching, W-I-T-C-H-I-N-G, not now, but when we're done, um, it's pretty cool because the Google search that I said kind of made it sound like it might just be a tall tale, this water witching. Well, I can tell you that it is not. Um, water witching, what we did, and my uncle is can water witch. Not everybody can water witch. His wife can't do it. It doesn't work for her. But you take a copper rod and you have your rod like this. So you have two rods and you hold that little piece here and it comes out like this and you walk around your property with it. You walk slowly 
and hi Molly Molly's on she's downstairs on Steve's iPad um, and you walk slowly around and when you're over a water source like it would be a good place to put a well in the the two wires will cross like this and it's kind of like kind of weirdo right yeah see Mary says she had their water well witched yeah so we went down to see where would be a good place to put a well and maybe just a sand point. I don't know yet. I got a quote on a well. Wow, are they expensive? But a sand point wouldn't cost much money. And um, we did this. My uncle did it. And then we spray painted X's on the ground so we know where to put the sand point or the well. And um, I can do it. So I went around and tried it. And sure enough, those little sticks, when I got over, vroom, they just go just like that. Um, and my mom can do it. I know that. But my aunt can't. It, it, when she walks around, nothing happens. So isn't that strange? Hi, Marsha. I'm happy to see you here tonight. Bonnie says her dad used to water witch. I know it's crazy, right? And, and um, like my daughter, Haley, is very skeptical. And when I was telling her about this water witching, she was like, whatever. <laughs> but I'm like, no, you have to come do it because I'll bet she can do it too. It's kind of, I think it's kind of something that maybe runs in your family. But have you ever heard of people who, my mom was telling me about this old neighbor we used to have. Anytime he would put a watch on, it would quit. And I thought, oh, something in his body is leaching the battery power out of it. And I said something about the battery. She's like, no, these are wind-up watches. Not there's not a battery. You just wind them. You have to wind them every day, right? And then they remember those. Remember those watches. Every time he would put one on, it would quit. Just something in his body doesn't let him. It won't let watches work. And water witching is kind of like that too. Something in your body doesn't let you witch for water. So, oh, Shutterfly. Somebody's talking about Shutterfly. Um, I think I use Snapfish, but Shutterfly does the same thing with the book. Thanks. <laughs> I just kind of saw that roll through there. So anyways, we were witching for water. Well, when we got to South Park, which is what I, we call our property because it's south of my mom's house and South Park is funny. We have a cat named Kyle, remember? And <laughs> when we got there, we pull up. My camper door is wide open. I'm like, are you flipping kidding me right now? How long has that been open? Is there a bear in there? Did somebody steal all this stuff in there? Did raccoons get in there and tear the place apart? Is the floor completely ruined because it's been open since we haven't been there since January. So it could have been open the whole time and it could have snowed in there and rained in there and done all the things. Oh my gosh. Well, I went in and there were some granola bars on the counter. They were now empty in the little packages. They were empty. And there was a few crumbs laying around, but I really didn't see any destruction. So I closed the door. The door was locked. Sometimes camper doors just pop open because of the ground heaving. I don't know. Anyways, it didn't appear there was nobody in there. It didn't appear like any big animals went in there and wrecked anything. So, But tomorrow morning, Steve and I are heading up to South Park, and we're going to spend a couple days there. I'm going to be working because I have a lot of computer work to do the last, uh, the next couple days. So I said, I can come with you because I can still continue to, you know, do my job. And so I'm gonna do that, but I'm excited to tell you that I'm going to be planning some type of a live stamping marathon. And I've talked a little bit about this, but I haven't got all the details worked out in my head. So I think over the next couple days, while I'm doing all my computer work, I will be able to sit down and figure out a plan and how we're gonna do a stamping marathon to kick off our new catalog. So how many of you have gotten your new catalog? Ah, so excited about this catalog. I love all the pre-order products we've been able to get. Now, did you know that if you join my team as a discount shopper, or you can build a business, whatever, whatever works for you, you can go from a hobby to a jobby. If you do that, you can, also pre-order new stuff out of the catalog just like I can with your kit. So $99 is all it costs you. You get to choose $125 in any product you want. It could be retiring stuff. It could be holiday catalog or um, spring mini catalog. It could be old annual catalog. It can be new pre-order. And um, you can join my team and get a discount on all your future orders. So if you have any questions about that, ask me. 
you have nothing to lose, nothing to lose. If you decide that this isn't for you, nothing happens to you. Nobody comes and gets your stuff back that you got at a great discount, but you do get to be part of my team and it is a lot of fun. I see, whoops, hang on, or, no, I'm not gonna invite Kimberly. I'm looking at some of the comments here. I see a lot of my team members on here. Hi, Connie. Connie says the new in colors are the best. They really, really are. They are so pretty. And I'm going to be playing with one of them. I'm going to show all of them to you tonight, but I'm going to be playing with one of them. Um, Barbara says she got her onto her catalog, but not my free catalog. Well, give Stampin' Up! a call. I think you have to wait until a certain date in May to get another catalog. Um, I got two catalogs because I got my regular free catalog and I got my on tour catalog. So give Stampin' Up! a call, Barbara. Barbara's on my team. And uh, they'll, you know, I think you have to wait until May 5th, though. That number just comes into my head that if you don't have your catalog by May 5th, start contacting me or Stampin' Up! Barbara, you're gonna, you're on my team, so you would contact Stampin' Up! directly. If you're a customer or a potential customer, you can contact me. Okay, Judy says she has hers and she loves it. Yay, I'm so excited. I know, this catalog, mm, delicious. I absolutely love it. Okay, the other thing I wanna let you guys know about, Diane says, love being on Kelly's team. Thank you so much. Um, another thing I wanna tell you about is Dina Barb and I are doing an annual catalog kickoff for this catalog. Now, I don't have all the details written down because, well, I thought I had it all together here, but now I'm finding I don't. <laughs> we are going to have seven live, um, do I want to call them classes? Seven lives in this catalog kickoff. If you are a member of our team, you get it for free. Okay, so please don't pay for it. If you are a member of Stamp Happy Academy website, and if you're not familiar with that, when we're done here, go look it up, Stamp Happy Academy dot ning n i n g dot com and you will find it if you're a member of stamp happy academy a basic membership is only um 1995 and you can get the catalog kickoff for free if you're not any of those things the catalog kickoff is 15 dollars are demonstrators that are not on my team barb's team or dina's team allowed to join this anybody worldwide can join the annual catalog kickoff. We are going to have so much fun. It's going to last kind of over a two week span. It is a private Facebook group. We will be doing lives in there. There will be make and take packets available to US residents, but the actual classes and all of the content with the annual catalog kickoff is available worldwide. So just know that. And again, $15 or free with the Stamp Happy Academy membership or if you're a team member. Now, uh, let's see. I'm just reading some of the comments here. Uh, Marilyn says, I'm a demonstrator and couldn't even order two catalogs. I was very disappointed. I'm not sure what you mean, Marilyn, but you can order cases of eight catalogs as a demonstrator right now. Or once the catalog goes live to the public which is May 3rd, you can order individual catalogs. And actually, for those of you that might not know this, the item code is right on the back of the catalog, but it's not available to order one or two catalogs or have it sent to an individual customer until the catalog goes live to the public on May 3rd. Now, you could have done mailing selector and you could have had individual catalogs mailed to people on in your customer list if you're a demonstrator. So just know that all of those options are available to you and individual catalogs will be available. I have catalogs in my possession right now that I have been mailing out. So anybody who made a special request to me for a catalog, it has gone out in the mail. Um, if you have ordered at least $50 from me in the last six months or so, I pull a report on that and you're automatically on my mailing list. So Cindy says she ordered a box of eight catalogs and received hers last week. Yeah, they come within a week. So yeah, okay. Um, so watch for the stamping marathon information as soon as I get it all together in here. 
I also have bingo Wednesday night at 7 p.m. If anybody would like to register for bingo, I have not started cutting for those. You get five make and takes in your packet with some kits. We'll have five class or five cards in a class. The class is live on YouTube and then we play bingo in between. So that's a lot of fun. And you do get a make and take packet with some kit contents. Let's see. We're going to have a rainbow designer series paper. You get a half a pack of that a pack of polished dots, a roll of white frayed ribbon, and a half a pack of vellum layering paper. Yeah, that's $35. And you have the option to add on the Daffodil Daydream Bundle, the Seize the Day Bundle, or the Oceanfront Stamp Set. Those are the three products we're going to be using to make the five cards. So, Last but not least, Dahlia Day's Fun Fold Class. You guys, this one has been so popular. I, I just am getting registrations for it coming in daily. That class is going, this is a pre-order. It's a fun fold class. There are nine different fun folds using the Dahlia Days, which I put away already, darn it. The Dahlia Days um, stamp set bundle. It's gorgeous. It's in the spring mini catalog. And we are um, going to have that available for everybody, I think this coming Friday. We'll have the PDF, all the videos. My videos are done. I just have to type up all the project sheets. So you get a project sheet, you get photos, you get dimensions, you get a video tutorial for each of nine cards. And they're all fun folds. And can I just say, I've seen Dina's cards. I've seen Barb's cards. I know what my cards are. Phenomenal, beautiful, not to be missed. So I'm still taking registration for the Dahlia Days fun fold. And you can add on the bundle. The actual class is $48, I'm looking at it right over here, $48. It includes polished dots, crinkled white seam binding, and the expressions in ink ephemera pack with pre-cut cardstock for nine cards. You do need the Dahlia Days bundle. You will need the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper. Okay, so if you have those, you don't need to add them on. If you don't have those, you can get all of the things with the pre-cut card stock in a free online class because you're just paying for pretty much product and shipping for $108. Okay, I'm done with all that stuff. I have prizes to give away. So let me get on with that for, that's my share. Here's my comment. Hang on, share. That was the, okay, got it. For commenting on my last Facebook Live, um, what's stupid? I'm not seeing what's stupid. I need eight catalogs. I only wanted two to give to my daughter and downline, even though they could get them from, oh, well, um, yeah, Marilyn, once the catalog goes live, you can order individual catalogs. Otherwise you just can't, they're not, they don't send them out that way. They come in cases. So it's not really stupid, but <laughs> it just is what it is. That's how we've always done it. Okay, gold glitter enamel dots. <gasps> this is for commenting on my Facebook Live last week. Make sure if you're coming in here new to me or you maybe just forgot, you want to leave a comment. Everybody who comments gets entered in a drawing on my next Facebook Live. So whether you're here now on Facebook, whether you watch after um, on the replay or you're watching later tonight on YouTube, please leave a comment. Also, click that like button. You can click that right now. And I see who just said I have 500 people watching me live right now. Thank you, Wendy. Um, click on that like button right now. That helps me out in the analytics. Later on YouTube, click on that, click on that um, thumbs up button. Click the bell so you'll get notifications when I have a new video coming. That's always cool. Commenting, are we ready to hear the winner? Ginny Mullins. Ginny, these are coming your way. Yay. Ginny is from St. Clair Shores. I think it's St. Clair Shores, Michigan. So congratulations, Ginny. These will be off in the mail to you before I leave tomorrow to go to South Park. Next up for sharing. When you share, you can click on that share button right now. And that really helps me to grow my business. I appreciate that so much. I have got some of our beautiful velvet ribbon plus a pack of our sponge daubers. These are both coming to Lanny Rhodes of Port Charlotte, Florida. And that is for sharing my Facebook Live last time. So thank you so much, Lanny, and congratulations. 
<clears throat> excuse me. Next up, we have for placing an order. Three ways to win. Comment. I was like, what? Comment, share, order. For placing an order since my last Facebook Live, I have the beautiful Abstract Beauty Ephemera Pack. These are really fun. Going out with the Create with Friends stamp set, which is a great little sentiment set. Lots of nice greetings in here. We have Donna Manning of Pierre, South Dakota. Congratulations, Donna. This is going to be in the mail to you tomorrow before I leave for South Park. So congratulations to everybody. And thank you all. Thank you all of you for sharing and liking and clicking the thumbs up and the orders and all the things. I really, really appreciate it. Okay. I think we're ready to stamp. Um, let me get my iPad out of the way here. I am going to show you some of the new in color stuff. Oh, it's so pretty, pretty. Hang on, let me get it out of the, oh, don't want to rip it. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get that back in there. I'll work on it. Okay, I'm ready to flip this. Are you guys ready to be flipped around so we can stamp? Yeah, I need to get on with things. My mom is waiting for me. Molly's here too, so I am, I'm not going to rush though because the card we're making tonight is crazy, crazy cool. Here we go. If we get disconnected, just pop back on here. Ooh, it looks like my thing is, uh-oh, hang on, hang on. I'm having some issues here. Stop it. There we go. You guys get to see my messy bulletin board. Okay, I just want to get this straight because I hate it when it's crooked. Push this up just a little bit. There we go. I think we're looking pretty good. Okay, is everybody good? I think we're straight. These are the new in colors, you guys. Oh my gosh, we have Sweet Sorbet. This is a pack of... Uh, 2022, 2024 in color six by six glimmer paper. These new in colors are so incredibly gorgeous. They just make me so happy, right? I love bright, beautiful colors. So we've got Sweet Sorbet. We've got Parakeet Party. We've got Tahitian Tide. Woo, fancy names, right? We've got Orchid Oasis. Oh, nope, Starry Night, Starry Night, and Orchid Oasis. Oh my goodness, there are four six by six sheets of all of this in here. And again, this is called the six by six in color glimmer paper. This is available during pre order. So again, if you are interested in joining my team, you would be able to order this in your kit, which is very cool because you get to do all the same things that I get to do. Oops, I knew I wasn't going to be able to get this back in here. I shouldn't have pulled it all out. And there we go. I got it. I got it. So these are our beautiful glimmer papers. And then we also, ooh, what was that? Something just made a really loud, crazy. Hang on, you guys. I don't know. It's really windy here, and it sounds like something just smashed into something. Maybe Steve's trailer. Sometimes it moves around in the driveway and might have hit the house. Oh, well, no big deal. <laughs> you guys have seen our house. It's really not a big deal. Okay, this, I love, love, love Baker's Twine. This is the In Color Baker's Twine Pack. You get all five in colors in here. I'm so excited about this. And then I also have my markers here. Oh, look at, oh, they're so beautiful, aren't they? The other cool thing that I like is we have um, the blends, okay? We've got the light, or the Orchid Oasis blends. We've got the Parakeet Party in blends. We've got the Starry Sky in blends. I think we got the pinky ones too, don't we? Oh, sweet sorbet in blends. All five in colors are in blends. This is the uh, la, 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 Tahitian Tide. So we've also got blends with all of these new colors. Like so, so pretty. So pretty. So lots of good things. I think what I'll do when I do my little marathon, I will, um, my stamping marathon, I will do comparisons on these for you guys. 
I'm planning on, this is kind of just in my head right now, but I'm planning on going through and showing you all the elements in the suites that I have been able to pre-order because, you know, we that's all we've got so far is pre-order. So I'll show you all of the elements of the sweets, you know, explain them good. Because sometimes I don't even know what to do with some of this, some of the dyes. I'm like, I don't even know what that does. But I'll explain that all to you and we'll make some really fun projects in a marathon. And that means to me that I'm going to be live stamping for you every day for a period of time. Just don't know what it is yet. I got to work all those details out. By the way. If you place an order with me and your order is under $150, you're going to find an online ordering button right here. This is my current host code. Use that if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, you don't need to use the code. But if you would like to get in on my ordering special, I have, I am giving away glossy dots with a $75 order between, I don't know, April, whatever, free shipping was on the 21st, April 21st through the end of the month. So if you would like to get in on some free dots, a $75 order will qualify for you for those when you use this host code. You have to use the code to get the free dots, but that is my special thank you to you. Okay, next we are going to start bringing in some of our elements. So I am going to be using the adhesive sheets tonight. I actually am gonna remember and not forget to use them. So I'm pretty excited about that. I have a complete template here that's gonna show you how to make this card. This is the Flowing Flowers. Let me get the glare off of here. The Flowing Flowers um, stamp set that we're gonna be using. Beautiful, beautiful stamp set from the mini catalog. Here's that Orchid Oasis, and we're going to combine it with gray granite ink. And then I've got my white crinkled seam binding. This seam binding is a ribbon that I use frequently and I absolutely love. And the reason why I love it so much is because, well, it's white, so you can do a lot with it, but you can also color it with your Stampin' Blend markers and make it any color you have markers for. So it, you can make it match any project, and that's pretty cool. Then I'm bringing in my iridescent rhinestones. I love, love, love these things. You guys have seen me use them uh, like all the time. They're my favorite new embellishment. So I'll be using those to put just a little bit of glimmer on our card. Get my stamp set out here. And my little cheat sheet I got going on there. And then we'll start bringing in all of our elements. So this is that Orchid Oasis, okay? And here comes our gray granite. And then we are going to, I'm gonna show you the card. Oops, let me get all my other pieces out here. I'm gonna show you the card that I am going to make for you tonight. I'm going to show you. Oh, I got an envelope here. Let me get all this out of the way. Here's all my pieces. Now, I want to make sure that you guys know I have started making um, project sheets or free downloads with all the projects that I'm posting on my blog. I have another new project coming on Friday. I'm in a blog hop with a Totally Techniques blog design team, and um, I'm using another brand new product. So don't miss that. But each one of these will have a free download. And what that means is you can go to my blog. And now this takes some time for me. Once I get done, I have to download my video to my computer. I have to upload this video to YouTube. YouTube has been taking a long time to do all their checks before they approve my video so that I can post it any place. So just know that that's what's really been taking me some time. I've gotten everything done ahead of time so that I could do this quickly. And now YouTube is stalling me. So I just want to let you know why there's a delay. But once we get to my blog, you're going to find free downloads once I get the, the YouTube video ready to post. Um, free downloads where you can print out a sheet that has a picture of our project. Um, there's links in there that you can click on. It'll take you right to my store. So it tells you all of the colors of cardstock, all the colors of ink, all the tools that I've used. Then there's dimensions and then brief directions and a link back to the video. You can download this to your computer. You can print it out and put it in a three ring binder. So you have all these ideas 
It is fabulous. I am also going to be including in that download a picture of this template. Now, don't get frightened by this. It looks really scary. I am going to show you, and you guys know I'm really good at this. I am really good at showing you something that looks really scary and making it very easy. I'm going to do that for you. So, um, I will have a picture of this template also um, in the downloadable project sheet so that you'll you'll have that too. Okay, Whew. you guys wanna see what we're making? Remember this. You guys, so many of you have been asking me, please make that card, please make that card. Show us how to make that card. Oh my gosh. This was sent to me by Barbara Pike. This was for Dawson and everybody fell in love with it, right? It looks highly complicated and can I just say, it is not. I sat down and I made this last night. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, I'm talking a little fast because I'm on steroids. <laughs> Maybe that's too much information. But you guys know I have rheumatoid arthritis, right? And so I ran out of my medication for that. And um, like last week sometime, and what I found is that it really made me achy and um, things started hurting. My back started hurting. You know, it was, I couldn't just get up and walk away. I had to get up and kind of think about it a little bit because things were sore. So when I take my medication, everything is wonderful. Well, I ran out of my drugs. My doctor wouldn't give me any more because apparently I need to go have an appointment with her. Ugh. So I went and did that this week and she put me on not only my medication for the arthritis, but she also put me on steroids. So I'm on some pretty high doses of um, prednisone. And the other night I was up till 4.30 a.m., and I am just like the Energizer Bunny. I'm not even kidding. It's like, <laughs> so talking a little fast tonight. That's why. Not just because my mom's here. <laughs> so here's our really cool, cool card. Now, I decided, just like Barbara did, I was going to bring in the Playful Alphabet. Oh, these dies are fantastic. There's even some duplicate letters in here. Like there's some letters that you use, you know, like in one word more than once. Like there's a couple, I think a couple S's and, you know, a couple whatever. There's some um, duplicate letters in here for that type of thing. This Playful Alphabet is normally $34. It is on sale and retiring. It's only $27.20. So if you don't have a little alphabet, die set like this so you can personalize things. This is a fantastic little die set. The other thing that's retiring is the ornate layers dies. And oh my goodness, you guys, these are so beautiful. You get like a million of them in here. Not quite. Let me look and see how many get. Hang on. I always put what I don't use back in the packet so I can use it later. Um, you get eight different dies in here and they're all frames. So we're going to be using those to make the card that we're gonna make. We're not making this card, we're making a different card. So you're gonna have a, lot, a couple different ideas here for this particular trifold pop-up card. Okay, so let's get our stuff out of the way here. I am going to tell you a little bit about our cardstock layers and our dimensions. This again is the Orchid Oasis. And this is our card base. This is five and a half by ten and a half. And we're gonna do a little scoring, super easy scoring. Like I said, this is this looks really complicated, but trust me, it's not. And don't panic on me. Just stay with me. Stay with me, people. We'll get through this. No, it's really quite easy. Three and a half. Score. Seven inches. Score. Okay, pretty, pretty easy, right? Okay, now we're gonna take this and we are going to fold it just like a Z, okay? Then I'm gonna look at this. One of these edges sticks out a little bit further and I don't wanna see that on the front of my card. So I'm gonna turn it over and now it's the back of my card, okay? Good idea, right? I, th I thought it was pretty brilliant. Okay. We're going to burnish these edges really good. This is going to be the front of our card. Now we're going to take another piece here. This is our gray granite, and this is five and a quarter by six and three quarters. And we are going to do some scoring here. We are going to score at 
two and three eighths. And remember, each eighth, one, two, three, I'll hopefully even put the like one inch ruler in here. When I have goofy measurements, I like to give that to you guys. It'll be in the download. There's two and three eighths, three and three eighths, and four and three eighths. Pretty easy, right? So far, so good. We're doing good here. Now what we need to do is cut the slits for our pop-up panels. And this is what looks like it's really hard, but it's not. We are going to start at one quarter of an inch. So line that up. I'm gonna bring my cutter right in here and we're gonna cut from this outside score line and this outside. So we're gonna cut in between. I'm gonna stand up now. I might get a little bit louder. And we're just gonna cut right in there. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to move it from a quarter of an inch to one and a quarter. Put that, and again, we're gonna cut from here to here. Now, if this gives you hives, another thing you could do is just fold this up. You could fold this all up like this and use scissors to cut, but I want this to be, you know, uniform. So that was, that was at one and a quarter, and now we're gonna go to the next quarter. So we're gonna do one and a half. So what you're doing here is you're doing a quarter inch and then a one inch and then a quarter inch and then a one inch, okay? So right now we're at one and a half, we're gonna go to two and a half. So now we need a one inch. And now we're gonna go to the next quarter, which is two and three quarters. I'll read these all again for you guys so you can write them down if you want to, okay? And now we're gonna go to three and three quarters. And we're just cutting in between those lines. And now we're gonna go to four, cause that's the next quarter. A little bit more. And then we're gonna go to five, cause we need that one inch again. And there we go. Okay, you got your pencils ready. I'm gonna tell you again. This is a quarter inch, and then you're going to cut again at one and a quarter, one and a half, two and a half, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, four and five. So we've got one, 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 and one with quarter inch panels above and below, okay? That makes it a little simpler, right? Okay, Whew. that's the hard part. Now, what we're gonna do here is we are going to, this is how I did it. You may have a better way, but I took my finger and I put it in the one inch slots. So I'm pushing those quarter inch ones down and I'm bringing those one inch ones up just like this, okay? And now we're gonna fold and we're gonna fold and we're gonna fold, ready? Oh, it worked, yay, just like that. So however you can make that happen, you make that happen and this is what we have. Are you guys with me? Nobody's sleeping yet, right? Ooh, what happened? Uh, I don't know why that keeps coming up on there. Yay! Cynthia says she loves making this kind of card. I do too, like this made me giddy. When Barbara sent that for Dawson, I was like, oh yes, we will be making this. And so last night, I sat down and figured it out. So there we go. Now we have a lot of decorating to do here. We've got this panel. This is gonna go right in here, okay? Now, let's do some things. So you're gonna have two basic white pieces, and I put a little note on mine. The smaller of the two is for the front of your card. The larger is for the back. This white piece is three and a quarter by five and a quarter. The piece for the back is three and three eighths by five and three eighths. And then we also have a gray granite that is the same size, three and three eighths by five and three eighths. We're gonna do a little stamping. Uh, I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat. This is what I choose to use as my stamping surface. 
and I'm going to grab my stamp. Now, you could use markers on your stamp if you wanted to, but I tend to be a little bit of a lazy stamper, and I'm gonna <laughs> show you what I mean. With the lighter of the two colors, the gray granite, I am going to just come in here and I am going to ink up the leaves and the little polka dots around, around the outside of this flower. And you can see if you're getting close enough to the edge of your leaves here. And now I'm gonna come in with my starry, or I'm sorry, my orchid op, orchid oasis. I almost said opulence, I don't know where that came from. Now I'm gonna come in here and I'm just going to ink up this flower. Now this isn't gonna be perfect, but it's going to be good. So we're going to stamp this just like that. Look at how pretty that is. There's so much detail in these beautiful flowers. Now, because I don't wanna get the dark blue in my gray, I'm going to clean this off, okay? Just a little bit, just clean it off a little bit. And now I'm gonna come in with my gray again. And this worked out really good for me. Now, if you guys don't like this method, you can use markers. Do whatever you need to do to get that ink on here. And then we're going to just come right down in here and stamp that again. But this is gonna look fantastic, I promise you. You may wanna try this out, get your, you know, practice, practice on some scraps. But this is how I did it. And again, like I said, I, I can tend to be a lazy stamper. And this is, this is gonna be a lot quicker than markers, but markers will also work really good. Just like that. Clean it off. This is a stamp chamois, by the way. I love this cleaning tool. It's probably my favorite that Stampin' Up! has ever come out with. Oh, here we go. Gray granite. And then my blue. Make sure I get that whole flower blued up. Let's see. I think I'll go this way with this one. And now... I'm just gonna do the flower part. So I just need to ink up that flower. I don't need to worry about the other part. I'm gonna put one maybe right in there and maybe another one right there. Boom, isn't that cool? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What do you guys think of that? Super easy. All right, let me, I'm gonna clean this off because now we're gonna work with the panel that's gonna go on the back. And that's this one. And I just want one flower, one flower on the back. I could use the other flower that's in the stamp set, but I like these little spotty things. I think they're kind of cool looking. And so I'm gonna do the same thing, get this inked up, and then I'm gonna take this, whoops, I just got color all over that. Okay, I'm gonna grab my baby wipes. Nothing a baby wipe won't solve, right? Oh, did you guys see I got my nails done? Mm, this is the color that I had on, put on when I went to Florida. So it's starting to get nice here. So I need to go and get my toenails the same color because they're like really um, faded because I haven't had them done since Florida. <laughs> they're really faded and icky looking. Ah, this is going to be our place to write on the back. Oh, and while we're here, you guys, we're going to do one more because we have an envelope and I want to decorate that too. Always, always. I always try to decorate my envelopes. Sometimes I don't get them decorated because sometimes I have cards that I've made that I want to use and send to somebody, but I didn't do an envelope. It's usually the only time that I don't have an envelope um, decorated up. And then I'm in a hurry and I'm like, well, it's a difference between I don't have time to go grab an envelope and get the stamp set out and do all the things. So do I just not send the card or do I send the naked envelope card? And I will see, I'll send the naked envelope every time, but if I have a choice, it's gonna be stamped. How's that? There's my envelope, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, next up, we need a little sentiment. We're gonna do all the little bits and pieces. Now, the other card that I made to share with you is not a birthday card. But as I was thinking about this class, I needed a birthday card. And where did my, here's my little envelope. 
So let me get all my bits and pieces out over here. I decided to make the birthday card because guess who has a birthday soon? My Anna. Man, I got some things stuck in my bag here. There we go. My Anna's birthday is May 1st. So I needed a birthday card for her and she is going to love this. So I've got a piece of gray granite. So let me get all my pieces out because I've already done a lot of the die cutting. Okay, here we go. We have gray granite and I'm going to stick with my Orchid Oasis for my sentiment. So I'm gonna just stamp this right down here. Oh, I love the font. Do you guys love that font? These fonts in the stamp set are funky and fun and I, I absolutely love them. Hang on, I just dropped something. I love these. I love cool fonts. Okay, then we're going to bring out these babies. So we're going to be using this one for our sentiment. And then we are going to use... Hang on. Let's see, we've got this one, this one. Oh, here's this one. We're going to use that one. And then we are going to use this one right here. Okay, I got it. Uh, we're not using this one or this one. Let me put that away. Are you going to make a card? Oh, <laughs> yeah, Molly, you should make a card for your mom. It's going to be her birthday next weekend. Right? That's next weekend. Yeah, next Sunday. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are, let me get my hair out of the picture. We are going to put this right down here, okay? Way down at this end, we are going to die cut it with this stitched rectangle die, okay? And then we're going to take mm, this one. This one just has like the little scallopy edge, and we're just going to make a little scallopy edge border. So hang on. Let me show you how this works. It's just like magic. Here we go. So I made this on a scrap of Orchid Oasis. So I have this little piece right here. Let me get my light in here a little better. And then I have my happy birthday on gray granite. And we're gonna keep going here and I'm gonna show you the rest of these bits and pieces. Um, here comes a white scrap. We are actually going to use this particular rectangle and we're going to die cut two white pieces, okay? So I've already done that here. And again, these are retiring also, these dies. Oh my gosh, I love these dies. Then we are going to bring in a scrap of the Orchid Oasis. I keep looking for my ink pad so I know what this is. <laughs> it takes me a long time to get these names down. We are going to die cut that same rectangle we used for our sentiment, only we're going to put this inside of it. Okay, so this is kind of just like Barbara did her card. Okay, and I like to use some temporary tape to tape that down so it doesn't move. I've got it centered in there. You're gonna need two of those. So here comes these two, okay? And I saved one of these little heart things. We might do something with that. I don't know yet. So we've got that and that, this and this, this and this, and now all we need are our letters. So, like Barbara's card, she's got baby boy with a heart. I decided to do love you. So let's move this stuff out of the way. I've got a scrap, whoops, that's too big. I've got a scrap of my orchid oasis, and then I'm gonna bring in that adhesive sheets, okay? You get 12 of these, 12 by six. So that's a lot of adhesive sheets. And they are like sectioned off into thirds. 
So what I like to do is make sure that I've got at least one seam on a piece that I'm using. So I'm just going to take this. I like to make my, my adhesive sheet a little bit smaller than my cardstock layer. And I do that by, you know, leaving a little bit over here and a little bit over there and then turn it over and cut it. And you can cut this in your paper cutter. You can do anything you want with it. But I just do it like this. There we go. Okay, so that's what I have going on here. Now, I'm gonna put this back in here because I'll use that for something else. All right, now I'm gonna take, and you're gonna peel this, whoops, you're gonna peel this backing paper off, maybe. Where is it? I gotta find the seam. What's happening? Oh, it's on this side. <laughs> okay, you gotta be smarter than your adhesive sheets, first of all, to make this work. <laughs> Somebody is asking what this is called. This is Flowing Flowers. It is in the Spring Mini Catalog. It is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to set this on here. Now, remember, I've cut this adhesive sheet a little bit smaller than my scrap layer. Okay, so now what we've done is we've turned this into a sticker. This stuff is cool. Okay, here comes my words. Let me grab my letters. Here we go. I'm going to, instead of baby boy... I'm going to put in here, love you. And this is gonna be perfect for my Anna, right? Okay, here we go. We've got L, O. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. There's this, which I think is a zero, and then there's an O. So I, I kind of used that one at first, and I thought, oh, that looks kind of weird. Or maybe this is the O and that's the zero, but I'm using the slimmer one. So I've got L, O. V and E, and then I've got Y, and I should have one more O. Oh, I don't think, um, I don't have another little O. I've got a big O, so I'll have to die cut that O twice, okay? So we're gonna die cut all of this, and when we get done with that, this is what we're left with. These are all our letters and they have sticker sheets on the back. So I'm thinking the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add, before we do anything else to this, we're gonna add these letters on here. So I'm gonna grab this. Oh, who is this? Can somebody please report this alley a leg to stop? Can somebody? Um, block the whatever foreign language that's happening there. I don't know what she's trying to prove or he or whoever it is, but it needs to it needs to go away. I know somebody out there knows how to do that. Okay, here comes L. This is my L. Oh, there. Then we've got an O, and all you do is you just grab your take your pick tool and you get that backing coming off of there. And then we've got O, ah, and then we've got V, Debbie. I can't see any of your comments. I don't know why. I think because I've got this over here and it's too light. I'm going to move that. L-O, whoops, get your V on there straight. L-O, V, and then an E. Thank you, Diane. I just saw Diane say he should be gone. Thank you very much. Sorry, you guys. Sometimes we get trolls. Trolls are people who are annoying. And they're trying to infringe on my business. And they need to get out of our business, right? Blocked. Thank you, Melanie. Appreciate it. I got a really scary email the other day and it was, I think it was complete spam, but I wasn't, didn't know at first. It told me that I had violated community standard something or another's and Facebook was going to delete this Facebook group that you're in right now watching me on. I just about flipped a lid. Like I was like, no, 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 no. Cause I don't know if you guys have ever had to deal with anything with Facebook, but 
there is no dealing with Facebook. Like there's just like almost no recourse. When they say, when somebody says something about you, it's a sh just, gosh, I almost said something that wasn't very nice, but you know, it's not good. Okay, here's my U. This looks goofy with it laying flat like this, but don't don't worry. It's going to be fine. You know what else I could do? I could have put that heart up here at the top so then it would have a Y-O-U, but whatever. Here's that little heart, and that came from this little strip right here, that little heart right there. I kept one. Or I actually um, did the sticker paper and die cut this so that this would also be a sticker. And oh my gosh, I love my take your pick tool for this. Look at how cute that is. There's my little heart. Oh. Okay, we're gonna push these down. Get down, there you go. Get in there. Get in there. Okay. Oops, hang on. There it is. There it is, you guys. Oops, there it is. Isn't that cool? Okay, let's put this beast together. Oh, this is the fun part. All right, here comes, oops, hang on. There's some technical difficulties over here. I got another one to show you. I have a different, I used a different kind of, the same colors, but in a different order. So we're gonna take this and this and this and this. Here we go. And grab my liquid glue. Okay. Here we go. Ah, oh, isn't that so pretty? Like, I love this. And you saw how easy it was to make. You just put the, that little detailed die in that rectangle. So here's that, and you just throw that in there. Tape it down so it doesn't move. I would highly recommend that, but oh. Oh, wait, I got, I see a couple, a couple little knot things that need to come out of here. Oh, I missed them. Get that out of there. Hang on. I don't want to jack this up at this point, right? <laughs> oh, that is really hanging in there. Probably because it's got maybe a little touch of glue on it. That's going to make me very mad in just a short, hot minute. Get out of my little heart, you stinker. Okay, I think I got it, you guys. Now that I mangled it. <laughs> I'll just put a little glue in there. Oh, it's still in there, you little. Isn't this the way we just really kind of go crazy over th things like that? Like, I am, there it is. I just, uh, gosh, that was making me mad. Okay, ah! all right, let's move this out of the way. Here comes this. We're gonna do this. Now, Barbara had a sentiment that said congratulations that was vertical, right? Well, I don't have anything like that. So I'm making this a little bit different to, you know, because we have to improvise, improvise sometimes when we don't have all the things that we see in a project that we want to make. So I'm just going to do this and this. Isn't that glorious? It's glorious. And then we're gonna put this right in here. So here's my tips on putting this inside. Fold it up like this. We are going to take a little, let's do a little dry fit. Let's see what's happening here. I wanna make sure that my borders are looking even. We really don't wanna mess this up at this point. And what I'm gonna do here, I've got it held in place. It's pushed up against the edge. I know that this is gonna fold properly. Now I'm gonna add some glue. Gonna add, can you guys see that? Gonna add a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue here, a little bit here. Oops, that was a boo-boo. I was just thinking I'm starting to feel less full. Oh my gosh, I ate so much at that party. Like, I am the worst. 
I just can't stop. Okay, I'm gonna grab this baby wipe. It's kind of negated all my holding things in place, you guys, because I had to move it anyways, but we're, we're gonna do it again. I had some glue that got off my sheet here. Okay, I just wanna make sure that this is centered and that's gonna fit into that fold. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Hang on, I gotta move that out of the way. There we go. Who is that? Linny says, is it Linny? I think it's Linny. I gotta move some of these things out of the way because the white is not letting me see your white comments. Okay, so we've got that nailed down. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here. And you know, doesn't this card, like when you look at this card, like the one that Barbara made that I showed you, it looks so complicated, right? But I don't know, this is kind of my specialty is to take a card that looks like, holy hell, I'm never making that. <laughs> and make it easy for you to actually make it and not hate life <laughs> while you're doing it. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just love it. Okay, let's get that front done. So this was our back panel, right? We're gonna just glue that on the back. And I did that because I didn't have any place to write my name or anything in here. So I want to write this, or glue this on the back. This has got a really, really thin little margin. Like really thin. There's the back of our card. This is the front. Now we've got this gray granite over here. We're going to take this piece and this piece and add them together. So we've got the white on the gray granite. And remember that all of these dimensions are going to be in a free downloadable project sheet for this card. So you'll have that, that going for you. Then we're going to take a little bit of this white and where'd my scissors go? Here they are. We're gonna do this. Let me move that out of the way. And this is how I'm gonna decorate my front. And of course you can do anything you want here. I wanted to keep it fairly simple because we've got so much happening on the inside. I don't want anybody poking their eyes out because it's just like, oh my gosh, this is kind of an over the top card, but it's so cool. Okay, now remember this little this little piece that we made? And we're gonna take this and I am going to cut it off. What? Yep, I'm just chopping it right off, just like that. Let me grab my dimensionals. Here it comes dimensionals. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I want this to be a border underneath that. And I just want it to stick out a little bit, not a lot, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to trim this, and then I'm going to, I don't want that to look like it's, I think I'll trim. I think what I'll do, you guys, is I'm gonna trim this last little circle off and you do whatever you think is right. Doesn't There's no rhyme or reason to this. I just want this to look like it's kind of random. I don't want it to, yep, that'll work perfect. Then I'm gonna cut right here, just like that. Okay, we're gonna glue these two together. Yep, perfect, perfect, perfect. Put some glue on the back or on the front of this and then we'll bring this in here. There we go. Now I'm going to come in. I'm using mini dimensionals on here because this is gonna go over that ribbon. And on my first card that I made, when my dimensionals hit on that ribbon, it flops around. The sentiment flops around because the ribbon moves a little bit, right? Things like that make me crazy. So then I'll do this, <laughs> and this will make me happy. So the happy Kelly is a happy Kelly. <laughs> what are you guys drinking tonight? I'm getting a little parched. I've got my strawberry lemonade. Mm. I 
do have to say that I'm going to start my Optivia program here pretty soon again because I'm feeling a little fluffy. <laughs> I need to lose about 10 or 15 pounds. I have a trip coming up at the end of May. Um, a bunch of us are getting together out in St. George, Utah, which is where we used to go to Founders Circle with Stampin' Up! And that was a retreat for the top demonstrators in the U.S. and Canada. And so they don't do it anymore. Stampin' Up! doesn't put it on. But one of our um, fellow demonstrators decided we needed to do that. So I am headed to St. George at the end of May. And I'm pretty excited. Oh, we got lots of water. Lots of water. I wonder if there's a way for me to change. Can some of my people out there look and see if there's a way for me to change the comments from white to some other color? Because I'm having a really hard time reading those tonight. I don't. I think it's because I had all this white stuff sitting over here, but I'll have to be more careful about that. I'm seeing them now. Um, <laughs> Melanie says her daughter says fluffy too. Yeah, I'm feeling rather fluffy. Like, okay, so I'm going to do a triple bow. So I've got this ribbon and I just wrap it around here three times. Now, if anybody needs one of these bow jigs, I um, am expecting an order of them in this week. I've been out of them for a little bit and I have a, a waiting list of people who have ordered them but I am expecting them back in stock this week. So if anybody wants a bow jig, they're $10. Pop me an email, kelly, just kelly at stampabove.com, and I will invoice you the $10, and you can get one of these. But this makes a really nice little triple bow, and you can make single bows, and you can make them all different sizes. And again, that's just $10. I don't make any money on these. It's just a service that I offer because I think everybody who... Um, has trouble making bows should have a bow jig so that your bows look amazing every time. That's what I think. Let me relieve some stress in your life. Buy one for your friend. I'm going to put a rolled up mini glue dot right here on the edge of my gra gray granite piece. And I am just going to pop that right in here. I thought that, I just thought that would look, doesn't that look so pretty? Okay. Okay, you guys. We're down to the final countdown. No, I won't sing. I will spare you all that horror. <laughs> okay, here comes the front of our card. Oh, I'm singing again. Kelly, come on. Waiting to hear Steve come upstairs and go to bed. I told you guys he got a new Harley, right? Did I tell you that? It's a soft tail slim. And he's not getting rid of his other Harley. He has a fat boy. He's going to keep it. And he said, that one can be mine. And I'm like, oh, because I really do like the fat boy. It's white. And his new one is black. And he said, that could be mine. And I'm like, oh, are you going to teach me how to drive it? Am I going to drive it? He goes, no, I don't think so. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm good with that. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I know some people. I know some women who ride Harleys. But those bikes are so flipping heavy. And with my arthritis, things don't always work quickly. Like, can I put my foot down that fast? Is it going to work right? You know, just a little, some little challenges. Nothing major. Nothing major. Every time I have a problem with something, though, I do say to Steve, that's my disability. Cut me some slack. <laughs> and that's not funny because people do have disabilities. But I mean, I do kind of have a little bit of a <laughs> little bit of an issue. Okay, there's my beautiful iridescent rhinestones, you guys. Oh, if you do not have these... You must get them. I'm not even kidding. These are my favorite. So are you ready? <sighs> Is that not the coolest? I can write on here. Beautiful little flower on the back. <sighs> I Look at that just makes all the difference, doesn't it? It's those little things that you do. Now, let me show you. Where's the original? Here it is. Here's Barbara's. Barbara, thank you so much for sending this to me. Well, to Dawson, but I did steal it from him. Not going to lie. So this is, this is Barbara's. She actually put rhinestones on each one of these, which is beautiful too, right? And here's my other one. So I need to know. This one says, sending a card instead of a text. And this is the flowing flowers. That's a sentiment in here. It says, sending a card instead of a text. Time for happy dance. Thank you. I like you. Happy birthday. And just a note. And then we have three different floral images. 
This is retiring. And this one, since it's sending a card instead of a text, I did M-I-S-S-U, miss you. I guess I don't have to spell it for you because you guys can all read. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> but oh my gosh, look at this. Is this not just the coolest? And again, I did the same thing on the back. Where did my envelope go? Here's my envelope. I got an envelope for this one. And I made an envelope for the other one. So I have no naked envelopes with this card. But here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Which one do you guys like better? Do you like this? I think this is more subtle because the gray granite is, you know, whereas this is more bold because, woo, that, um, look at, I had to read it again. Orchid Oasis. <laughs> I'm so bad. Orchid Oasis is, um, yeah, so pretty, right? Okay, so you guys, I have been doing this Wordle thing. W-O-R-D-L-E by the New York Times. If you're not familiar with it, look it up. It'll tell you how to play. You get six chances to guess a five-letter word, and then it keeps score, and you do it once a day. So everybody gets the same word today. Everybody gets the same word tomorrow. And we've been, um, once you get done, you can share your score. So Steve's been doing it. My mom's doing it. Molly's doing it. Haley's doing it. Um, Priscilla's on here tonight. She's doing it. Wordle, W O R D. L E by the New York Times. Super fun to play. Um, just wanted to share that with you. I don't know why, because I was spelling things, I guess, that I thought of that. My mind just goes all over the place. Plus, I have steroids. You know, <laughs> I've got a lot of prednisone in my system right now. But here is our template. I will be taking pictures of this and sharing it on my blog, so you'll have it. But isn't this look like highly, highly like, oh my gosh, are you crazy, lady? I could never make that to, oh, sure, I can make that. Who's feeling like they can rock this card? Who is feeling it? Well, here's what I want to do. I would like to see what you make with this card layout. I would love to see what you make with this card layout. I see Tracy's playing Wordle. Yay, Jean. Um, she says, if you like Wordle, try Waffle. It's like crossword meets Wordle. Oh, that sounds fun too. Thanks, you guys. So I would like to see what you're making. And maybe I might throw, I'm going to be up north. I'm going to be on my computer for the next couple of days. Maybe I'll throw a challenge out there. So I'll post a picture of this and then um, you make a card using this layout and you can post the um your picture in the comments under my post so they're all together on this facebook page and we would love to see what everybody's making i think that is a fantastic little challenge what do you guys think who is up for my challenge beverly says she can make it genesis maybe and joe joe's saying she's gonna make it tonight uh, Kathy's excited to try the card. I'm going to case this card. You case it, Julie. Oh, Margaret says she thinks she can. Melanie loves it. I think I can do it after I move. <laughs> yes, you can do it, Ingrid. I know you can. I can rock this card now that you showed us how. I know, right? I love taking these things that are so crazy and making them very easy for everyone. So, Yay. All right, you guys. I think that's all I have. Don't forget, we have bingo this Wednesday. If anybody wants to register, I have not started cutting cardstock for that. I will be back for bingo on Wednesday. So um, that's a good thing. Oh, that reminds me. I need to get all my stuff ready for that before I leave tomorrow. So there, I just made myself for more work. You guys know that I always appreciate your orders. Here is my host code. If your order is under $150, please use this code. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some um, rewards from Stampin' Up. I want you to have those. But if it's under $150, nobody gets the rewards unless you use the host code. And then I get them so I can give away door prizes. I really appreciate it. And um, if you would like to get the free glassy dots, I have that promotion is going on until the end of the month. When your order reaches $75, you're gonna get these glassy dots for free as a gift from me. So, but you have to use that host code. 
Don't forget the annual catalog kickoff will be posted to the public soon. Right now it's on Stamp Happy Academy for our team and our Stamp Happy Academy members so that we can start approving them. This is all a manual process to get all these people into a Facebook group. So we started there first. Nothing is happening until we release it to the public. You can join the annual catalog. If you're on our team or you're a Stamp Happy Academy member, the catalog kickoff is free. It's only $19.95 to join, join Stamp Happy Academy as a member. And it's $15 to join the annual catalog kickoff. You get the kickoff free. So if I were you, I would try out, if you're not a Stamp Happy Academy member, try it out. Join for $19.95. And then you get the catalog kickoff for free. And I know you're going to love it. There are four online classes on the website, Stamp Happy Academy, every single month. Right now, there are like 60 classes piled up right there for everybody who's a member to take advantage of. Four online classes posted new every month. Plus, you get these sweet benefits like these catalog kickoffs. No matter where you live in the country, no matter whether you're a demonstrator under somebody else, you can participate in this annual catalog kickoff. We are going to have prizes and um, games and lots of fun and seven different lives. And we're going to have a guest that I can't tell you who it is, but it's going to rock your socks. So join the catalog kickoff. Better yet, join Stamp Happy Academy and get the catalog kickoff for free. I hope to see you guys Wednesday for bingo. Don't forget I have a... Um, um, Blog Hop with the Totally Techniques design team on Friday. We are going to be using, what? Cling wrap for stamping. Oh, you're going to love this one, you guys. And can I just say the card that I have made? I, I need to make one more, but I have one card done. Beautiful. It's beautiful. You're going to love it. Okay. If I missed any questions, now is the time to type them in. I am looking at your comments coming up. I need to move all this stuff out of the way so I don't have white over here because the comments are really hard to read. Mm. You guys are so sweet and it has been my pleasure to show you how to make this fantastic card that Barbara shared with me. Barbara, you are just the sweetest. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. So the other thing too, I was looking around for like how many four letter words would be appropriate to put in, you know, like not, not appropriate, like not snarky or whatever, but just would fit like, okay, miss you with the heart. And we've got love you with the heart. We've got baby boy and then baby girl would fit in here. But what other words, what other words could you, could you put in here that would work? I'm just curious because I don't know. And I suppose Sandra just said, love it. You could put love it and put a couple hearts at the top and the bottom. So it doesn't have to be four letter words, right? Yeah. All right, you guys, I am going to call it a night. I hope you have a wonderful few days. My bingo um, is a free stamping class. It is open to the public. I will be posting a YouTube link before Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Central Time. So I hope you'll join me for the free class, but it is on YouTube. It is not on, um, it is a YouTube Live, not a Facebook Live. So you have to go to the link and go over to YouTube. I see somebody's asking about these dies. These are the Ornate Layer dies. They are actually retiring. So ornate layer dies. You'll find all the links to all the products I used for these, these cards on my blog a little later tonight. And these are the playful alphabet dies, which you can see are the perfect size for this. These are also retiring. They were available in the store when I checked it last night, so they haven't sold out yet. These were $34. They're on sale for $27.20. So if you don't have a nice size like this, you go get yourself some playful alphabet so you can make cool cards like Kelly. <laughs> Be in with the cool girls, right? <laughs> All right. Um, can any demonstrator join your kickoff? Yes. It doesn't matter whether you're a demonstrator or not a demonstrator, whether you're a discount shopper or not a discount shopper. If you are a stamper, you can join the catalog kickoff. 
And you can join Stamp Happy Academy too. We've got lots of demonstrators that are not on our team in Stamp Happy Academy. I have lots of other demonstrators that take my online classes, buy my kits, all the things. You can always do that. Always. So I'm glad you asked that, Joe. I really um, am glad that you asked that. Okay. Now I'm looking um, <laughs> cool, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Michelle. Happy, happy birthday would fit if you took, if you put the peas on the same place. Yep. Debbie. Yep. Sure would. What else do we have? Hugs. Oh, that's a good one, Kathy. Best. That's good. That's good. Can, and okay, I already wish. That's good. Stay well. I like that. I like that, Joe. Um, you rock. Oh, Courtney, that's perfect. I love that. Uh, two four-letter words. Stay safe. That's a good one, too. Have you and me miss you. Good luck. Oh, you guys are brilliant. Good dad. Good mom. Love that. Love this card. Oh, Thank you, Nora. You're so sweet. Remember, click. Whoops, I just asked somebody to join something. I didn't mean to do that. Um, make sure you click on that thumbs up. Give me a give me a like if you're out on YouTube. That's always helpful. Make sure you leave a comment so you're entered in the door prize to win fabulous product. I'm just trying to put some of my dies away here so I don't lose them. Yeah, this is an amazing set of dies, you guys. All these cool, look at all these cool frames. Ooh, this one. Isn't that pretty? That's designer paper. Blackberry Bliss. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice frame. They're stitched. Look at that on gold foil. So pretty. So pretty. Yeah. And these are ones that I die cut and didn't use. So I just stick them back in there. You never know. I might go, oh, this is perfect. And I'll use them up, right? Again, these are called ornate layer dies. They are retiring. So, and these are the Playful Alphabet on sale. And now I'm going to let you go. So I will get this video downloaded, uploaded. I've already taken pictures. I've got my blog post started. I've already started my um, free download, the project sheet. Oh, I got to take pictures of this too. And I'll get this all loaded up tonight and... Um, ready for you. So check back at stampabove.com in a couple hours. It usually takes a couple hours for YouTube to get all the, all the things approved and you'll find all of these on there so you can make some of your own. I can't wait. And I will take a picture of this and I will post it so you guys can put the cards you're going to make so you can show everybody what you made with this layout. I love it. Have yourselves a fabulous week. Thank you so much for taking time out of your Sunday evening to spend it with me. I love you guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.